Hey everyone, this is your 5-Minute Daily Devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, and chapter 4, verse 8. They read as follows. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. There are a lot of great books out there that discuss the importance of our inner life, our thought life. I like the book, The Battlefield of the Mind by Joyce Meyer and The Bait of Satan by John Revere because both discuss our inner thought process and how we sort of need to be on our guard. This is really important because the enemy, the devil, Satan, the accuser of the brethren, while he will obviously absolutely attack us in any way he can find to attack us, he most likely, he most likes to attack us in our internal mindset. He likes to attack us in our heart, our thoughts, our processes, or in other words, he likes to attack us in our soul. If you think about it, our minds, how we think about something determines our actions. We could see a food and you know think it looks just kind of really gross and not try it because we've thought that way. So our actions have followed, or maybe we see someone and we want to be connected with them for some reason, they are sort of appealing. So we find ways to connect with them. We find ways to get to know them. We may watch a movie trailer and think, oh, that looks pretty good. So we watch the movie or we may see an exercise and think that looks hard and we avoid trying it. And for the most part, this is fine and natural in the way that, you know, God designed us to be. The Bible says that as a man thinks, so is he. God has, you know, sort of given us a mind to do certain things and to not do certain things. So in knowing this, we can also know that that is a main reason why the enemy likes to attack our minds. He likes to come in there and sow seeds of things that would bring him glory in our minds that would steal, kill, and destroy things in our in our lives and not bring the Lord glory. He'll try to plant thoughts of insecurity in our minds that we are less than, we are not enough, we are not so great, while at the same time trying to plant thoughts of judgment in our mind where we see someone else and we think, oh, they are less than, they are not so great, they are not good enough. He'll try to plant thoughts of lust in our mind so that we look at and we do things that we shouldn't be doing. Or he'll try to plant you know, thoughts of greed or envy or pride or jealousy or impatience because he knows if he can plant them in our minds, then our actions will follow what we're thinking about. But notice that I said he'll try. The enemy can't make us do anything. He can't make us think anything. But in his cunning, deceptive, just, you know, annoying, he has studied us for a while sort of way, he kind of knows us and he kind of knows what we may be more susceptible to take the bait of if we're not on our guard. Friends, all he can do is try. We don't have to let him. We don't have to think every thought that comes in our head. We don't have to think on those thoughts and then dwell on those thoughts and then possess those thoughts. No, the Bible says that the mind that is in us, it should be the one that is in Christ Jesus. We should have the mind of Christ. We should think of things that God is thinking about. We should think like the Lord is thinking. And now that we are in relationship with the Lord, we have help in the Holy Spirit to help us to do that. Philippians tells us to think about things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy. Those are the things that God is thinking about. That's the mind of Christ. You have a judgmental thought that pops in your head. No, you literally stop and tell yourself in your head, no, I'm not thinking that. I don't even know if that's true. You have a lustful thought. You literally stop and tell yourself, I am not going there. I'm not thinking that. That's not pure. You think too highly of yourself. You stop that thought and you think, you know what? Mm -mm, I'm not thinking that. That's not admirable. To God be all glory. We have the power of the Holy Spirit to help us to control what is going on in our head, what we are dwelling on. So think on good things and let those good things marinate, dwell, take residence in your minds so that our actions follow so that we produce good fruit. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, please help us, Lord, that every time a thought pops up, Lord, we take that thought captive, God, it, it is not of you, and we cast down that vain imagination, God, in everything that would set itself up against the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Help us, Lord, to rebuke every thought that is not of you. Help us, Lord, to in our heads literally just say, no, I'm not thinking that, and then counter it, God. Help us to think things that are lovely, admirable, pure, praiseworthy, excellent, true, and noble, God, that 
that you may get the glory and that it may be for our good because our actions do follow our thoughts, Lord. And we want our actions to line up with your actions, to line up with your will. We love you, God, and we thank you in Jesus name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it. And I would love to have you guys. You guys have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.